Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play, no, walkthrough series for Dwarf Fortress. Sorry, I, I've developed quite a habit over the years of having a very specific intro, so when I change it up a little bit for something like this, it's uh, causing me problems. So, in the last video, we uh, dug out our areas for remains and for bones. So that way our fortress doesn't get gross, and we can also use the bones for decorating things, which our hunter is doing over here. We talked about setting up work orders, which we've done to these shops, or at least to this shop. We've also set up some work orders that pop in when we actually need them, but right now we don't. However, it is worth knowing, noting that our carpenter is finished building his tables and chairs. So with that done, let's build some tables and chairs. We're going to put back into this mode again. This turns off every time you reboot the game. I wish it didn't. Probably needs an update that does that. Doesn't make it. Uh, <laughs> makes it so that doesn't happen is what I'm attempting to say. But it didn't work out very well. There we go. But yeah, every time you restart the game, these reset back to default. Kind of a pain. All right. Is our miner done down here? Yes, he is. Let's go ahead and dig out some side tunnels here. Uh, we won't dig to the left because... Eh, nah, there's a lot of space. Actually, I think the game lets you scroll off further on the mini-map. You guys can't see the mini-map right now. Further on the mini-map than you would have thought. Let's start by doing that. Try to get back to the proper layer here. There we go. Someone has become a fish cleaner because that's the main thing they're doing right now. I think that is our, our butcher cooker person. We could start brewing more drinks and stuff, but right now we're okay. We will want a record keeper so we can get more specific numbers than these estimates that we have. All right. Well, this is where it would be nice to have our keyboard controls so I can make these a consistent length, but they are not available right now. Oh, you know what? Don't do that yet. Getting ahead of myself. So let's dig one. We don't want to put too many work orders down anyway because it's takes a while right now. Let's assign more of our nobles just to get it done. So let's assign a militia commander. That is going to be our hunter. This is just a position that commands troops. I'm not really going to put anyone into this right now. I just want someone there. The sheriff. Uh, I'm not sure what the sheriff is. I feel like this is renamed from something else. Is this what becomes the Dungeon Master later? Or have they changed Dungeon Master to say Sheriff now? I think this is someone who investigates crimes and stuff, but we're not going to have crimes for a while. The Hammerer is the one who deals out punishments for crimes. And the name defines what they do. They hammer people. <laughs> uh, Chief Medical Dwarf. I probably don't have anyone who can do this. We'll have the expedition leader hold the spot for now. All right, the bookkeeper. This one's pretty important. Oh, that's the broker, actually. I've uh, spiked out our expedition leader to do it. Bookkeeper. Oh. I guess I didn't give our expedition leader bookkeeping skills. That was a big mistake. I should have done that at the start. If you watched that tutorial, don't, because it's wrong. So these settings here are how precise you want the bookkeeper to be. The more precise it be needs, the more precise it is, the happier he needs to be and the better at the skill he needs to be. Normally, I think three digits is good enough just to kind of, like right now, we don't have anything that's higher than three digits anyway, so that should be fine. The messenger is also a new one that I'm not exactly 100% sure what it does, but I don't think we need it right now, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Not that we need a militia commander or a doctor yet either, but we might. We might. What's really going on right now? Lots of fishing going on. We're getting to a part of the game where our walkthrough is going to start being a little different. It's going to start turning into a little bit more of a let's play because it's going to be longer between finding new things to do new things to talk about unless I pause the video but uh it's not in the cards champ <laughs> but 
I have a very limited amount of time to uh, make content, so pausing videos doesn't really work out for me. I have a full-time job. If I didn't have a full-time job, I'd love to pause the video for you and skip to when something in really interesting is happening. But it's just not happening right now. Right now we're waiting on our miner. I don't know, have I turned off the extra labors on my miner? I have. So yeah, nothing on the cards for us there. The miner will get faster. In fact, he's already a fair bit faster than he used to be. And in fact, he's done with this order. So now we can move on to the next thing. Again, I would love... Maybe I can? No. Wait. I'd like to make this a very set size. Three, one, three, three. Hey, I actually estimated it properly. I don't know if this is right. Three, one, three, and three. So there we go. So just how I want this to be sized. And then we'll make three entrances to this. This is going to be our grand hall. I'm going to make a pillar in the middle like that. And just to make it a little prettier, I'm going to do this. Yeah, that, that works. That works. This is where we're going to make a grand dining hall for our dwarves. Want it to be big and fancy so that they'll be very happy when they are visiting it. You know what, we can give more jobs to the stone. This is not 10 doors, so I'm not really sure why he stopped. Maybe he's doing something else. Though it says we're at 10 of 10, so maybe... Hmm. There's only six doors there. Maybe there's somewhere else. Who knows? But we can put down more orders for him. I guess I do eventually want rock tables going, so we'll set this... Yeah, for now, this can be set to 10. Uh, this is a little different. We want less amount of rock tables available is less than two. Bit of a separate order from our wooden tables. In fact, we don't need wooden tables and chairs anymore. We can, but we don't need them. Do we remake our crutches and stuff? Because that's something we need to do if we haven't done it. No crutches. Okay, so we probably haven't remade those things. Remember how there were things we turned off on uh, embarking? We need to turn them back on. So, wooden crutches. This is for medical purposes. We'll make that a five. And then we'll make it so if there's a... If there's only two left, make five. More work orders. Buckets. Buckets will be the same thing. I should have set the number on this last screen. My bad, but if you accidentally do that, you could just go back here and do it. The screen's going to start filling up, though, and it's going to be a little bit more important that we do it right away. Buckets. There was something else we turned off at the start. I don't recall exactly what it was, though. Oh, you know what? We need bins. We should have done this first, actually. I think on the, the list, we can make it a little high priority. So let's set this to, like, six, because it's a little bit more important. If a month of empty bins is less than two, two four. Make six. Or no, no, no. That works backwards of what I think it does. Less than two. Uh, I'd like this to be higher priority. So bins store lots and lots of things. They don't store drinks. Drinks go in barrels. But they store about everything else. See how we have a bunch of stuff just laying around? The stuff here will all go in bins. That's why it's, that's why it's just laying around. And likewise, we should make more barrels as well. Barrels. Oh, that's weird. There's extra spaces because I change things. But have an unpause. I'll set that to like the same setting. When there's two, make six. That's pretty important. Okay. We're also going to need some mechanisms. So I'm going to make a work order. Rock mechanisms. 
this. Definitely don't need a ton, so we'll do six. Make six if we have less than two, which I'm pretty sure we have less than two. And I think the only person who can do this is our miner. It is going to split his attention, but it is something that we need right away because we have some things that we need to build. Critical things that we need mechanisms for. Got some platinum here, too. That would be nice for making very fancy things that are worth a lot of money. It's not a great weapon material because it's soft. But it is heavy. And a weapon that doesn't need to be hard but needs to be heavy is a hammer. So we'll probably make, be making war hammers out of this platinum. <laughs> they'll be worth a lot, but they'll also do a good bonking. Miner is resting. There's so many lungfish, man. It's insanity. Termites. I don't want those termites getting my wood. I don't think they'll actually do anything, but... Just looking at what some of these trees are. Most of these trees, like we've talked about, most of them have food in the branches. That's kind of insane. Like we've got a coffee tree here. I don't know about candle nut. Finger limes. I don't know if those are edible, but we've got a... I know I saw an apple tree a second ago. No, I'm not seeing the apple tree. Eh, it was here. <laughs> That's the thing that matters. I'm thinking most of this stuff is probably edible, even if I don't know what they are. Pomelos. A lot of coffee. <laughs> I don't think we can brew coffee in this game, but it is everywhere. There's like an insane amount of coffee. Oh, someone ate some plump helmets there, and there's the spawn. So we can plant more. Very nice. Okay, I think... Yeah, our miner stopped mining in order to make the mechanisms. That's okay, because we need the mechanisms to do another little tutorial piece here. Oh yeah, here's all of our tomatoes and tomatillos. <laughs> Like, food won't be a problem. Drinks? Drinks could start being a problem. We might want to start setting the brew order. We have a person to do it. So it's right now everyone's kind of doing things, so... Until we critically need it. I don't think I'm going to... There's some of our mechanisms. We do have doors laying around, so let's use our extra doors. First thing I want to door up is our workshop zone here. So doors... Dwarves will go into strange moods sometimes. And when they have a strange mood, they will take over a random shop of whatever they need to build. It's usually like craft source workshops is the most common one. It could also be like mason or carpenter. It could be anything, but it's usually those three. They'll take over the shop and then they'll start making a legendary construction if they can. They have to have every material that they want for it. And the materials they want might not be in the fortress. And if the materials they aren't they want aren't in the fortress, they're going to sit in that shop for a long time, yelling and screaming about what they need. And if they don't get it, they're going to go psycho bonkers crazy and kill everyone. Or kill themselves. Please let me stay monetized to YouTube, I beg you. So, what you got to do, here's what you're going to do. You're going to enclose the workshop areas with doors. You're going to lock all the doors if he starts complaining about not having what he needs. No one else is going to be able to use these other shops, but that's why when we make a permanent base, we're going to make each workshop isolated. But for now, this will have to do. If he goes psycho bonkers crazy, we're going to lock all the doors, and we're just going to let him starve to death in there. Because it's better than him going ballistic and killing everyone in the fortress, which he will do. Easily. He wants to do it. Just making sure I don't have the wood or the wooden tables and stuff. So this should all be rock stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's getting decorated, which is very nice. Thank you, Hunter. Okay, this is mined out. I'm sure our mechanisms are done. So the next big project, one of our most important tutorials I have to do. We need to build a well. I don't remember what the temperature of the area we've embarked in is. If it's warm or hot, we don't need a well. 
if it's temperate or cold or freezing even, we need a well right now. Because once winter hits, it's this river is going to freeze over, all the surface water is going to freeze over, and our doors will die. They don't drink water until they do. <laughs> if there's no water available on the map, they will suddenly start dehydrating. But like right now, they're actually like not going out and drinking water. So you need a well, even though your dwarves don't appear to need water. Even if you have alcohol and stuff, they'll still they'll still die of thirst. So we embarked in an area with a river. I did that on purpose. We're going to have to do quite a run here. Because our base is pretty far away from the river. That's why I would say, you know, it might be better to build closer to the river and then just, just dig your base straight down. So we got to go lower. Specifically, the level we need to go to, we'll go one down. There's water in this layer. So if I just dug into this wall, it would immediately flood into our base and we wouldn't be able to build a well. We need to go one level below the river. So this can be a little tricky to keep track of. So what I do is I put my cursor like where I'm going to dig this out at, which is going to go up to here. Actually, we're going to do one back from there. So right there, this is directly underneath the river, but this will not flood our base. And then we're going to stretch this out. I've actually missed our thing. So let's go up. How far off are we? Like two off, three off. This is a pretty long run. Oop, uh, wrong layer. Don't build it on the wrong layer. This will work. Okay. We're going to dig this out. This is our channel for... This is basically the water that's going to feed our well. Any water that goes into here is not going to freeze because it's below ground. This is the layer where we're going to build our well. So... Here's what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna expand like the entrance of this out. Just a thad bit, kind of like this. All right, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna build an area like this. This is above it. So this is above the tall one. We're gonna dig something out like this. Now our dwarf can't actually get into this area. So we need to dig a channel, which is this button here. We're going to dig one channel in this spot. We're going to dig one channel in this spot. Actually, do I need to go further out? No, we're okay. I'm going to dig those out. Now that he has a channel, he can dig into here. I actually don't want this to collapse, though. These channels will collapse because there's no supporting structure. We're going to... Oop, that's the wrong icon. We need this erasing button here. Ooh, he's actually... Yeah, we need to erase this. Okay, there's still a slope here. He was starting to mine into this. Just be sure when you're doing this that you don't have... You might even want to dig this layer out first and then channel down and then put down the mining order. In fact, that would have made it easier. I might re-record this because this is bad. <laughs> but cancel the cancel the slopes and then cancel the space between the slopes. That way these won't disappear. What's going on here? Oh, we have migrants. Uh, <laughs> I guess I will make a separate video for the well because a kind of important one to make sure we do it right but i'm still going to explain it but we're getting interrupted by migrants so some migrants have arrived we'll click this button to zoom to where they come in they always come in from the edge of the map i don't see them i don't know if they've already made their way to the base oh uh, it doesn't matter oh it doesn't matter we only got two migrants so they're probably already in the base we can check our list of people. And it looks like we got a woodcutter and we got a dwarven child. Children don't do very much. They do more than they used to, but we can't assign them any kind of orders. The woodcutter, though, is available. And the nice thing about this is now my actual carpenter does not have to ch chop trees. So what we can do, we can turn woodcutting off of our woodcutter. He's a better one at it, but... I would rather him be doing other things. And then this person can just cut trees and do other things. We don't even need more trees felled right now, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so that's that guy taken care of. Oh, this is a black sand floor. Interesting. We can use sand to make glass.
course, we won't want to gather sand out of this place because it's about to be flooded. So he's going to dig this long, long tunnel all the way to under the river. But it's not going to flood yet. And he also has more work to do. But we're going to let him finish first. I'm really happy for you, Taylor, but I'm going to let you finish. So you see he he stopped when he got to the second or the second to last spot that I had selected. They won't dig into damp stone. It's safe, but this is more to like protect you from aquifers if aquifers would exist because the stone would also be damp if there was water on this layer. But it's actually above and it's fine. It's not going to flood. So now he's there. The next thing I'm going to do is remove one of these slopes. That's I'm not sure why that did that. Remove the slope, please. There it goes. And it's a long walk. But hopefully he doesn't fall asleep down here, because that will actually mess things up. Um, brother in Christ, you need to do this job I just ordered you to do. Wait, what's this? Huh? this why is there a, a, a mining icon there okay it's gone again North Virtus sometimes does things where you're just like what I didn't mark anything there for him to do so I don't know why that was selected okay so he's removed the slope that was here now I'm going to have him make two slopes I'm going to have him channel he's going to channel these two spaces it might be like, what the heck are you doing? This seems like absolute insanity. Well, we could have just built a well on this layer here. Like, we could have built it here before I dug the slope, and I could have built a well here. But on this tile, once we flood the zone with water, there would be mud here. And apparently that is bad for Dwarf's health. Now, there is a rock here. This might be annoying. So we're actually going to make it so this spot here is double deep for our well. So we have to have two slopes so that when I delete this slope, he still has a way to get out. Uh, remove slopes. Remove that slope. He can still get out, which is good. And this is, this is his way back up. Well, this will be the well. So be aware you need to have two slopes down to be able to do something like this. If there's other ways to build wells and things. This is the way I find to be the easiest and best way to do it. Now. Here's our damp stone. Dig a ramp, an upward ramp, not a channel, an upward ramp into this wall here that's damp. And pray that he's not tired. <laughs> if he's tired, he might just go to sleep right here. I do have a bed, though, so he should be trying to get to the bed. But if we didn't have beds, he might just go to sleep here and then he'll drown. This is a little bit dangerous. You might want to save the game here. I'm pretty confident that he'll be fine, but... It, this this is going to make the river in here be down here. <laughs> there it comes. So now it's flooding in. That's why we want a river, because if you just did this to a lake, there wouldn't be enough water. It, it would empty out, and then you wouldn't have an actual well. But this will last forever. This water will roll in here, but it won't go any higher. It won't go uh, higher than where our well is. So our well is here. We'll see a we'll see that under this hole there's a seven there will be a seven foot or seven level deep water. But it's not gonna go up into here. I've tried to make wells deeper down than this, but my base always floods. I don't quite understand the logic of it, but just be aware that if you try to go two steps below the water your base is going to flood for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's why I do it on the level just below the water level. Now this water is rushing into here. Glug, glug, glug. But we're fine. 
just kind of surprised this doesn't doesn't say seven here. It, it would in the old game, but that's okay. But you'll see there's a dusting of mud on all these tiles. But here, there's not a dusting of mud. So our water is hypothetically cleaner. Now, there is mud down here, but I think it just takes water from the tile below it. So hypothetically, it's cleaner water. It might not do anything. It's just the tutorial where I learned the strategy said that you should do it that way. So next step. They might even be able to just drink water out of here and be fine. But we do need, we'll build our well anyway. First, I'm going to build a floor here to cover up this hole that we don't need. We don't want someone accidentally just falling in there. Apparently dwarves can like fall into the well. And if we wanted to be sure like they didn't completely fall into the well, we could even like mine around it so there's more space. Let's build a well. So we're going to build. I don't remember exactly. Oh, it's machines. That's right. Remember these categories didn't they just exist before. You just pressed hotkeys to get the things. We're going to build a well. All right. We have no blocks. There's a lot of different pieces you need for the well. You need a rope. One second. To build a well, you need a rope. You also need a bucket. You also need mechanisms. And you also need blocks. And I forgot about the blocks, so we need to make some blocks. A new task, blocks. I think even though it's a plural, I think he's just building one block here. So I'm going to have him make like five blocks. Fortunately, this means we have to wait a little bit. <laughs> but at least we have the basics here. This water isn't going to freeze, so now we can build a well at any time and be okay. Main thing is getting that done before winter time. Now, the next thing we might want to do while we're at it, this build instruction bridge. What dwarves like to do is they like to cross the river at these end points. Specifically this one for us. It, it changes depending on, uh, on the map. It might be your northern part. It might be your western part. It just depends. They'll try to cross here because this is shallow water. I think, I think, we're, I think it's like going downhill. So in the next tile over, the water is uh, coming in that way. I think the water is actually coming in from the top, and it's draining out this way. But this is the lowest part of the water. Well, they'll try to cross here. In fact, they've probably done it a few a ton of times already, and I haven't been watching. We don't want them to do that because it's highly dangerous. They might drown. Dwarves are overconfident in their ability to swim. I'm also going to put it over our bridge because I don't want her... I'm going to put it over where our well entrance is because I don't want enemies using our well to get into our base. I think, I don't think they can, but I've heard that this helps prevent that from happening. So we're going to build our bridge like that. This is the direction the bridge is going to uh, pull. So if we connect this to a lever, the bridge can be a drawbridge and lift up. We want it to go that way, which is the opposite for me. But we want it to go that way. If we wanted it to rise to the other side, we'd click this, but now we want it to go this way. And then... Enter? Oh. That was a little weird. I don't quite understand. But now it's getting built. It's just after a selected everything it should have been done i had to i had to exit out the menu instead so i think our carpenter is the one who does this job so he's gonna grab wood and i think if we made it out of stone it would be the mason doing the work luckily he doesn't need one for every tile of the bridge i hope <laughs> and i think no uh, maybe not I think the base of the bridge has to be built on land, but I think you can build the bridge to only be this long and you'd be able to cross it. But I like to give it the extra tile just to be sure. Now this bridge, we're probably not going to turn into a drawbridge. You turn it into a drawbridge later. You don't do it on construction. Yeah, he only needed, he only needed five for this one, which happens to be how many rows there was. And there we go. Now we have a bridge. 
because this is closer to the exit to our base, they will prefer crossing this one over this. We want to be sure to do it that way just to make sure they're still not crossing where they shouldn't be. Okay, we probably have our blocks done. I don't see them here, but this job is mostly done, so we should be able to build our well. So let's do that. Construction. Not construction, machines. Well. And here we'll do select materials so that we can see what we need. Blocks. Do we want to use a fancy bucket? Sure, let's use a fancy bucket. Rope. I'm sure, we'll use a fancy mechanism. Okay. And now I realize why that did the bridge work that way. I have the I have the building thing set up to uh keep building after placement, which for the bridge didn't make sense because we're only building one. Same thing for the well, we only building one. Didn't make sense to leave that turned on, but we can just escape and it's fine. So Someone is going to come do this. This is another one of the things like the trade depot. It would have been controlled by building designer. This one's going to be built by someone else. Probably the mason. Because I think I selected build it out of rock. Mason. Mason! I think he's asleep. Okay, he's asleep. Mason? Okay, he grabbed a rock. That's a good sign. Or not, it's the closest rock to the well. I don't know. He might, yeah, he's making blocks instead. My brother, you build that one, but I need you to do other things right now, bud. Blocks are ticking. This is already our longest video. Toasted. There he goes. Probably grabbing a rock and buckets and things. Yeah, he's going back and forth grabbing the things he needs. He has to grab them one at a time, unfortunately. And... Boop. There's our well. Yay, and it's nice and fancy, too, because it has fancy mechanisms and fancy wood buckets. So, like, the first... The first marker next to the name is the quality of it. The star is pretty high quality. The three stripes is like decent quality. And then these are different decorations. There's uh, something adding this, and then there's something adding that. I don't know what the difference is between them, but just know the more icons here, the better it is. And then like the fancier the first icon is, the better it is. So we are out of time for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember Rubies. hit the like button. That's funny. I pressed the wrong button. Remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.